Hi everybody, and welcome to VMware's Multi-Cloud Briefing. My name is Vittorio and I'm delighted to be your host. Today we have some very exciting news to share with you about our Multi-Cloud strategy and the tremendous values that our customers and partners are deriving from it. Our vision is to be able to deliver any application on any cloud across any device. And that's why we've been a pioneer of the multi-cloud world, executing on a strategy to allow our customers to use any cloud platform using the consistent and proven VMware solution that they are already familiar with. It is the ability to build, run, manage, connect, and protect any application on any cloud that really differentiate VMware in the marketplace. So, if you are a VMware customer and love how vSphere helped you build your private cloud efficiently and reliably, today you're going to learn how VMware Cloud Foundation allows you to embrace the cloud, accelerate your business, and in the process, propel your career forward. To better understand VMware's differentiated approach to cloud computing, we're going to hear from the leader of our engineering team, Mark Lohmeyer. Mark is going to cover all the latest innovations in our cloud platform. Then we're going to hear from Kit Colbert, our CTO. He's going to describe how, how our engineering team has architected VMware Cloud Foundation so that it works consistently across all cloud providers, while at the same time allowing you to access the differentiated native capabilities that each cloud provides. And finally, we're going to hear from Rackspace, one of our top cloud providers, about how they are delivering a fully managed service to their customers to enable their digital transformation. So let's jump right in with Mark Lohmeyer, Senior Vice President and General Manager for Cloud Services at VMware. Mark? Thanks, Vittorio. I'm thrilled to be here today to share with all of you the latest advancements in our cloud strategy and platform. At VMware, we've been true to our mission throughout our history as a company. We're in the business of removing friction from IT and therefore accelerating business outcomes for our customers. In a technology world, it's becoming increasingly more complex and heterogeneous. Our cloud strategy has been shaped by the evolution of business applications, which in turn drive business growth. With virtualization, we made it possible to run any application on any computing hardware platform and network. And with our end user computing portfolio, we allowed these apps to be delivered securely to any device. As many customers expanded their environments from on-prem to also delivering apps from the public cloud, we set out to create a cloud platform that would allow our customers to build, run, and manage any app consistently across any popular cloud platform with a single operational and management model that was also consistent with what these customers were already using in their own data centers, while also allowing them to take advantage of the unique capabilities of each public cloud. So let me get into today's big news. I'm pleased to announce that as I speak, a VMware Cloud Foundation-based service is available on all the major public cloud platforms, as well as across thousands of cloud provider partners. Our customers can get a VMware-based environment in over 120 countries around the world. This is an unprecedented achievement. Cloud is about speed, and never have we needed speed and agility more than in today's world. With VMware Cloud Foundation, we can reduce the time, the cost, and the risk of migrating to the public cloud by an order of magnitude versus previous approaches. As a result, we can accelerate the time it takes our customers to move to the public cloud from years to months, or from months even to days. Our customers can now vMotion their existing workloads to the public cloud with no application downtime. It's as simple as that, a vMotion to the cloud. And with VMware HCX, they can just as easily migrate an entire data center, thousands of applications and virtual machines, or back on-prem if they so wish. And by working with each of our cloud partners, we provide not only the great enterprise class capabilities of the VMware infrastructure, but also at the same time, allow them to take advantage of all of the underlying differentiated capabilities of each cloud provider. This gives our joint customers tremendous choice while also giving them complete access to the incredible portfolio of services from AWS, Azure, Google, IBM, Oracle, Alibaba Cloud, and more. So cloud migrations is clearly a great use case, but it's not just about moving existing workloads to the cloud. One of the most exciting use cases for me and many of our customers is building next-gen apps that unlock tremendous new business value and new business opportunities. 
With the introduction of VMware Tanzu earlier this year, VMware Cloud Foundation now provides a single integrated solution where our customers can run existing VM-based applications, as well as new cloud-native uh, container-based applications, all on top of the same consistent platform, thereby simplifying their environment, minimizing training, and most importantly, accelerating time to value and actually delivering these new services to their customers. Delivering a VMware Cloud Foundation across all these great cloud providers is a great joint milestone. But we've also been working closely with each of these partners to release significant and specific innovation on each platform. So let's start with AWS, our first and preferred cloud partner, and our jointly engineered solution, VMware Cloud on AWS. We announced this game-changing partnership over three years ago now. And since then, we've been innovating rapidly on behalf of our joint customers. And over the last three years, we've delivered significant engineering milestones every quarter hundreds of features delivered over this time frame. But what's more important than the features that we delivered is the compelling use cases that this service enables for our customers. Uh, we talked already about the power of using VMware Cloud for cloud migrations, significantly reducing the time, cost, and complexity of migrating to the public cloud by an order of magnitude. But we can also enable other powerful use cases like disaster recovery, leveraging the public cloud as a DR target for existing on-prem workloads use cases like burst capacity and data center uh, extension, expanding existing data center environments into any AWS region around the world. And of course, application modernization, leveraging capabilities like uh, the VMware Tanzu portfolio. Powered by these use cases, we've seen tremendous growth in the service. And in fact, we've increased the number of VMs on the service by over 3.5X over the last year alone. In addition, we have over 580 channel partners that are now VMC on AWS certified competent, and over 40 partners who have achieved their master services competency. And likewise, in the technology partner space, over 300 technology partners that have created value-added solutions on top of VMware Cloud on AWS. So it's great to see the partner ecosystem, both our go-to-market partners and our technology partners, really investing in this platform and delivering new value for our joint customers. Because we've jointly engineered this solution, we've been able to build some incredible new capabilities for our customers together. Take, for example, stretch clusters on running on top of AWS availability zones. With this capability, we can take a VMware Cloud cluster and stretch it across two AWS AZs, providing four nines of availability for any application. And if anything happens in one of those availability zones, we can automatically fail over the application to the second availability zone providing very, very high levels of availability. Um, but what's really powerful about this is that nothing is required to change in the application. There's no new application development. Uh, you can take your application as it is already running in a VM and just layer it on top of this stretch clustered infrastructure that we've enabled together with AWS. More recently, we've announced some really uh, powerful additional capabilities and services. Uh, for example, we just announced the availability of the i3EN instance with the second generation Intel Xeon Scalable Processor architecture. This instance type delivers 4x the raw storage capacity at roughly half the cost per gigabyte of storage, reducing the TCO by over 50% for storage intensive environments. So this is great for applications like mission critical databases, for example, that require very high performance, very high storage capacity, but obviously in a very cost effective way. We've also continued to broaden uh, the uh, scope of customers that can take advantage of the service. So for example, we just recently introduced a new minimum cluster size configuration of two hosts. This reduces the cost of getting started on VMC on AWS by over 33%. Uh, and uh, this is great for many smaller customers, many channel partners that wanna get started small, but then have the ability to scale up over time so they can easily grow from two to three to four up to hundreds of hosts in their environment if they so uh, need. VMware Cloud and AWS maturity, joint engineering, joint go-to-market, and being the only VMware Cloud service that's operated, supported, and managed by VMware makes AWS our preferred public cloud partner for vSphere-based workloads. Likewise, AWS's preferred service for vSphere-based workloads is VMware Cloud on AWS. Now let's turn to Microsoft. Azure VMware Solutions has been in the market for over a year now. 
and we've seen increasing interest from our joint customers for this solution. And I'm personally excited about the general availability of the second generation of this service that we're going to be delivering soon. Azure VMware Solution is another great example of how our customers can leverage their existing VMware investments, school, skills, and tools, including VMware vSphere, vSAN, NSX, vCenter, vRealize, while at the same time benefiting from the work that Microsoft has done to really integrate AVS into their Azure console and their Azure Resource Manager APIs for a seamless native Azure experience, while still being able to access all of the powerful enterprise capabilities of the VMware Cloud Foundation. In June, Microsoft also announced that they're going to be extending their hybrid benefit pricing uh, program to Azure VMware solutions, allowing customers with software assurance to maximize the value of their existing on-prem uh, licenses for Windows Server and SQL Server when migrating or extending to Azure. This is a great benefit to our joint customers that protects their costs when migrating to Azure. Now moving on to, uh, to Google Cloud. So Google uh, recently announced the general availability of Google Cloud VMware Engine. And Google likewise is working to integrate this VMware Cloud Foundation environment with their rich portfolio of services. This Google Cloud VMware Engine service will provide integrated cloud security with a unique data encryption at rest capability. Google also has differentiated cloud services and expertise in artificial intelligence, machine learning, data, analytics, and security. And we will enable them to take advantage of all of these unique services and capabilities consistently from within the VMware Cloud Foundation environment that's running in Google Cloud, really bringing together uh, the best of the VMware Enterprise Class capabilities with what Google offers in their public cloud. Through this solution, we're giving our customers the power to access these services as they build new applications and modernize existing apps, all in a proven enterprise class VMware environment. Finally, Oracle has also announced Oracle Cloud VMware solution, which enables customers to run VMware Cloud Foundation on Oracle's Generation 2 cloud infrastructure, while retaining full VMware admin access and compatibility with VMware vCenter. Customers have control, full control, to build and manage their VMware Cloud environment exactly as it runs in their own data center while leveraging Oracle's unique cloud services. Now, uh, clearly one of the most uh, satisfying aspects there is for me and the engineering team behind VMware Cloud Foundation is seeing how our customers are adopting this platform to accelerate their business in the cloud. So to bring that to life, I'd like to talk about um, you know, two examples across two different use cases and two different cloud provider partners. The first customer example is Pennsylvania Lumberman's Mutual Insurance. Their IT team needed to really improve their business continuity and disaster recovery environment, as well as being able to um, improve scalability for uh, critical workloads like their document imaging system, which required extensive storage capacity. They chose VMC on AWS for disaster recovery and for capacity expansion and they were able to implement the solution in four months, achieving a 20% cost savings with a very small team, thanks to leveraging their existing knowledge and familiarity with the VMware platform. Now, if you think about it, step back and think about it, you know, four months and 20% cost savings for this customer, you know, incredibly compelling value prop for them. And so we're really pleased to be able to deliver this type of value. And in this case, this disaster recovery use case uh, to, this, uh, to this customer. Another customer example that really brings to life the value of VMware Cloud Foundation running in the cloud is Veritas. As Veritas spun out of Symantec, they knew that cloud was their path to the future. And so they looked at all the cloud providers and they landed on IBM Cloud VMware solutions. Our combined platform gave the Veritas team the ability to leverage these enterprise class VMware capabilities they were already using on-prem and combine that with the ability to use some bare metal uh, native capabilities that the IBM cloud offered that was important to them. Veritas was able to move 95% of their applications to the cloud, leveraging IBM cloud for VMware solutions without disrupting the business. They would actually start their application on a Friday evening, their, their application migration on a Friday evening, and they'd be done with it by Monday morning, 
you know, readying up, up to take on business starting uh, bright and early Monday morning. So you can see here, this is a great example of the cloud migration use case I talked about before, significantly reducing the time, the cost, and the complexity of migrating applications into the cloud. In this case, taking what would have uh, traditionally taken this customer maybe years down to, uh, down to something they can do over a few months or in some cases even a weekend. Making VMware Cloud Foundation technologies available across all the major public cloud platforms is a really big milestone for VMware and our cloud strategy. But more importantly, it gives our customers the power and the agility of choice. The choice to select the cloud provider that best suits their needs. The agility to adopt the cloud at unprecedented speed. The enterprise class capabilities of the VMware portfolio combined with access to all of the unique value and differentiation and services of each cloud. It's a really powerful combination. As you know, from VMware's history of relentless innovation, we're never satisfied and we never stop innovating. You know, our engineering team is working hard, continues to work hard to continue to realize this vision of any app on any cloud delivered to any device. So uh, stay tuned for more exciting announcements coming up at VMworld this September. And with that, uh, back to you, Vittorio. Thank you, Mark. Making VMware Cloud Foundation available on all these cloud providers, I think represents an unprecedented opportunity for our customers to v-motion their business into the cloud, as well as building new, differentiated, exciting applications using Kubernetes, all on one consistent, familiar platform. But now, let's dig a little deeper into the architecture of VMware Cloud Foundation to understand how our engineering team made all this magic happen. So it is an honor to give the floor to our CTO, Kit Colbert. Kit. Thank you, Vittorio. As we've been talking about, every business is becoming a multi-cloud business. And we've been talking a lot with these businesses about their multi-cloud journey. And what we hear are that they have a lot of problems. And so as we've been diving in and learning about it, what we've been finding is that a lot of the challenges actually has to do with how they're approaching this big transition, this big journey. Essentially, these businesses are starting off from where they are today on the lower left-hand corner, their current applications and their current application architectures. And they're trying to go to that upper right-hand corner, that cloud-native nirvana, their future state architecture, uh, their destination, if you will. And a lot of them, the, the approach that they're taking is actually going from that lower left-hand corner directly up to the upper right-hand corner and doing it all in one fell swoop. And the belief is that that's actually the fastest way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it. They just need to go directly there. But what they're finding is that there's actually a lot more challenges to that approach than they might imagine. Uh, the first of which is that it's a monumental effort, a ton of effort to do replatforming, rehosting, and refactoring all at the same time. Uh, there's all sorts of technical issues, but more importantly, there's all sorts of personnel and organizational and tooling issues as well. A lot of operational issues that start to come into play there. Uh, they also find that it takes a lot longer than they had expected it to. Um, these things they thought might take months might stretch into years. And then of course you have a lot of these failure scenarios as well where things don't work out and they have to go back to where they started. And I think that's probably one of the biggest things that we hear about from customers is this notion of kind of all or nothing. Either they make it all the way to the upper right hand corner to their nirvana or something goes wrong and they're, they're back at the start. And so not only do they have all these problems when moving to any single cloud, they actually have all those problems when they go to multiple clouds and it's actually multiplied. And so these businesses are facing these problems again and again and again, and having a lot of challenges realizing the multi-cloud future that they're trying to go to. So with VMware, we're taking a very different approach. Instead of doing this one fell swoop from the lower left to the upper right, we're offering customers stepping stones. Essentially these different milestones, these iterative steps that they can take on their journey forward. The point here is that each of these steps some of them may be very small and very low effort in nature, and yet they lock in a tremendous amount of value, allow customers to take advantage of that value, and then the customer can move forward to the next step when they're ready, and maybe only do it for some applications while keeping some of the current applications at their current space. So for instance, that first step there, rehosting. That's all about migrating these applications to the right infrastructure that they need. 
that may be going to the cloud, let's say with VMware Cloud and AWS. It might be going to the edge to get closer to a lot of these IoT applications and all the data that they generate. The point being though, is this is extremely low effort. We see businesses that can move literally hundreds of applications a week to the right locations for that application to support the business needs. The next step then is replatforming. And that's really starting to, to reimagine the application, not just as a VM-based application, but as a Kubernetes-based or container-based application. And there again, what we're doing with VMware Cloud Foundation with Tanzu is extremely powerful because it dramatically simplifies this migration on top of Kubernetes. A customer can migrate their existing applications running inside of VMware Cloud Foundation using Tanzu onto Kubernetes and start gaining all the great values of the Kubernetes ecosystem. There's a tremendous amount of innovation there that customers are able to take advantage of without majorly overhauling their applications. Now, of course, in these first two scenarios, uh, the apps, as I mentioned, aren't fundamentally changed. And so they're not magically highly scalable, they're not magically cloud native. Uh, so what we see is that customers do get a lot of benefits of modernizing that underlying infrastructure, of taking advantage of things like Kubernetes, but a lot of times they find that for the most business critical applications, they want to take those further. They actually want to do a full refactoring. And so in that case, they can then use Tanzu's set of capabilities to actually move them all the way there and to get them uh, fully refactored and so they can be highly distributed and take advantage of all those great cloud native properties. So in this way, VMware offers a truly differentiated approach to that multi-cloud journey. It's not one fell swoop. Instead, it's a set of options that a customer can take advantage of when the business requires it, giving them much greater flexibility and choice as to how they, they do that migration and to be able to adjust when changes to the business do arise. But how do we do this? And what's unique about VMware's approach that enables us to deliver this differentiated value? Well, it all goes back to our architecture foundationally. If we look at the clouds out there, most clouds are vertically integrated. They have their own data centers, their own hardware, uh, all their own software they build themselves and all the services built on top of that. Again, nice vertically integrated and <clears throat> a lot of our customers are able to start taking advantage of that. But what we start seeing, of course, is the challenges going multi-cloud that now this vertical integration starts working against them and that uh, everything is different between these clouds. Different tools, different processes, different APIs, uh, operational models, all those sorts of things. Fundamentally, VMware's approach is different because we're not focused on the vertical, we're focused more horizontally. Providing a rich and powerful set of software and software abstractions that can layer down on top of any underlying infrastructure anywhere in the world, as well as supporting a broad diversity of applications and different sorts of application services that can run on top of that software layer. So this fundamental approach, this horizontal versus vertical, is really, I think, the, the key differentiator. If we talk about what enables us to have that horizontal approach, it all goes back to VMware Cloud Foundation. VMware Cloud Foundation is our core compute storage network, as well as additional capabilities such as management, tightly integrated together as a package that can be delivered to any environment a customer needs. As we talked about, it can go on-prem into the data center, as customers have been doing for years. It can go to the cloud with all the different cloud partners uh, that Mark talked about. It can go to the edge, as I mentioned, in case there's a need uh, for uh, managing and analyzing IoT data or having other reasons that that data and those workloads need to be close to a specific site. Not only that, but VMware Cloud Foundation also offers a bunch of different operational models. The customer themselves can operate it. We have uh, thousands, literally thousands of partners that operate it, or VMware itself can operate it with things like VMware Cloud and AWS. And you layer on top of that all those great functionalities, uh, the great operational tooling that's there, really powerful and, and broad ecosystem of capabilities, uh, the powerful networking capabilities that we have with our NSX product. And finally, that developer experience. One of the biggest things we've done with VMware Cloud, uh, VMware Cloud Foundation 4 with Tanzu is to actually integrate Kubernetes into VMware Cloud Foundation itself, making that a native capability of VMware Cloud Foundation. So really, really powerful. And so with this powerful foundation, what we've been able to do is really build out this very large 
uh, set of cloud capabilities. As you can see, we now have uh, cloud partners spread all over the world. Uh, Mark talked about uh, all the different mega clouds that we have uh, now running VMware Cloud Foundation. You can get VMware Software Defined Data Center at all of those uh, with a simple click of a button. But we also have about 4,300 other uh, cloud provider partners also spread around the world. And each of these are, of course, smaller, but very focused on different industries, on different use cases, and different regions as well. So we built a very broad network because of that horizontal approach that we've taken. You can imagine uh, all these different dots, as you can see on the screen, spread around the world uh, with this VMware Cloud Foundation fabric laid on top of it. And then what that gives you is really easy connectivity and consistency across all those environments. You can vMotion workloads between any of those different environments. You can have the same operational tooling, irrespective of whether something's running in the cloud or on-prem. So it's really about evolving what cloud is, this notion of multi-cloud, this notion of cloud, uh, not as a place, but as a model, and be able to deliver that model to any place. And finally, we're continuing to build on top of those foundational architectures with the Tanzu portfolio. And the Tanzu portfolio is broad and has many different aspects to it. Uh, we tend to divide it up when we talk about build, run, and manage. On the build side, we have a ton of capabilities that we've gotten over from Pivotal and now are a core part of our Tanzu offering. Uh, we have uh, things like um, our application catalog for managing all the different open source that you're using within your environment, making sure that those open source libraries and binaries are free of any sort of security issues and fully up to date. We have Tanzu Application Service, enabling a great platform as a service approach to really simplifying, refactoring, and redesigning and re-architecting your applications. On the run side, there's Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. And Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is really focused on delivering a Kubernetes runtime everywhere. Again, <clears throat> anywhere that vSphere runs in VMware Cloud Foundation, but also even in non-VMware Cloud Foundation environments, such as native AWS. And then Tanzu Mission Control is really focused on how do you provide a consistent management layer of all these different Kubernetes environments. Well, you can see how VMware is taking a very different approach here. Our focus is horizontal in nature, built upon VMware Cloud Foundation, that core infrastructure building block that we can deliver to any location, any infrastructure, any cloud that a business wants. What this means is that with VMware, going to multi-cloud is fundamentally simpler, fundamentally easier, and in the end, actually the fastest approach to getting there. Really, really powerful stuff, and it all goes back to the architecture. Thank you very much. Vittorio, back to you. Thank you, Kit. I don't know about you guys, but I can listen to Kit talk about technology all day long. And as a former software engineer myself, I'm always so impressed with anything that comes out of our great R&D team. But now, I want to talk about Rackspace. Rackspace is one of our top managed service providers, and they happen to be the 2020 Global Partner of the Year for Social Impact. So let's hear from their CTO, Jeff Deverter. Thank you so much, Vittorio. It's great to get to speak with you today and with the VMware audience. And it's quite an honor and a privilege to get to partner with such a great organization and to have been named the 2020 Partner of the Year for Social Impact. Thank you so much for that. Now, the amount of work that it's taken for Rackspace over the years to amass the VMware footprint that we have has taken, well, it's taken a ton of work. And it wouldn't have been possible without the deep commitment between our two companies and with our partnership with our amazing VMware team. Now, Rackspace has partnered with VMware almost since our beginning, and that has enabled us to help our customers adopt new technology quicker and to transform faster into a point where Rackspace has amassed one of the largest VMware footprints on the globe. In fact, that number tops 100,000 VMs under management. It's an incredible number and it only continues to grow. Now, our services that we provide aren't just relegated to our data center. In fact, multi-cloud, it's a reality. All companies are utilizing some aspect of, of their own data center or Colo or a managed service provider like Rackspace or the public cloud. And Rackspace customers, they're no different. Now, as you're aware, Rackspace has a deep partnership with AWS, and we have 
an amazing amount of VMware workloads under management inside of VMware. But VMware isn't the only public cloud that we provide support for. In fact, we provide support across all of the major hyperscale cloud providers. This is one of the reasons why we pride ourselves in being known as the multi-cloud solution experts. We provide support for our customers' VMware instances in our own data center in Colo, as well as any of the hyperscale cloud providers. For Rackspace, it's all about what's best for the customer. No location lock-in here. Uh, we are 100% focused with, with you, VMware. In, uh, in being focused on our customers' business outcomes, wherever those workloads should run. So Vittorio, uh, we're grateful for the deep partnership between our two companies, and we're honored to be named the 2020 Partner of the Year for Social Impact. And we look forward to helping transform our customers for many years to come. And now back to you, Vittorio. Thank you, Jeff. The current pandemic clearly has forced all of us to accelerate our digital transformation in the cloud. And we believe that if you're one of the 500,000 VMware customers, VMware Cloud Foundation is the fastest way to get there. So if you want to try and get started with VMware Cloud, go to cloud.vmware.com and start your trial of VMware Cloud on AWS. And don't forget to sign up for VMware 2020, which is just around the corner. In conclusion, vSphere made you the IT champion who cut costs and turned the infrastructure into a nimble innovation machine. Now, with VMware Cloud Foundation, you can become the IT hero who propels your company into the cloud. So go on, be a cloud hero with VMware.